Okay, so our third story is uh, Amigo Brothers by uh, Piri Thomas. It's written in uh, 1978 in the Lower East Side of New York City. And this is one of the main areas of the New Yorican uh, literature. Our story uh, has uh, two uh, main characters, um, Antonio and uh, Felix, and they're both young uh, teenage boys who have uh, taken up the sport of uh, boxing as a way of uh, staying out of uh, gangs and drugs and crime and all of those negative factors that are a part of uh, the uh, immigrant uh, communities uh, in a uh, poverty uh, situation. So they're doing something uh, really uh, positive uh, with their lives at this point. And they really enjoy the, uh, the sport of boxing. It's uh, uh, become very important in their, in their life. They're kind of walking encyclopedias of uh, boxing who the famous boxers are, what their moves are, their stances, their styles. They know all of it. Uh, they are uh, quite good at their chosen sport. Uh, so good, in fact, that uh, they are amateurs and they're going to compete in the Golden Glove competition which will allow them to gain a professional status for whomever wins. Now, once you gain professional status, you're allowed to make money as an occupation and a, and a job uh, for your sport. It would be like becoming a uh, professional baseball or a basketball player. So, um, they are, uh, have worked together for uh, many years, uh, training. Um, they are a different uh, physical stature. Uh, one is tall and lanky, the other short and muscular. Uh, they go through the many steps of competitions to finally be part of the Golden Glove competition. It's, uh, it's their night uh, to uh, challenge. They have to actually challenge each other. It's kept them up late at night, uh, worrying not only about the fight, but more importantly about uh, their friendship. Uh, this could be uh, a make it or break it deal uh, for them. Uh, only one winner. So the fight starts, they battle it out. They're serious, they're not giving up an inch. They're really going at it, at each other. Uh, it's the final round, there's no TKO, no technical uh, knockout. Uh, it's left up to the judges to uh, decide who the winner is going to be. They uh, embrace each other in the center of the ring. The judges are deliberating to make a decision and they both leave. They both leave because they know they've done their best. It doesn't really matter who wins. Um, their friendship is uh, more important at the end of the day than the actual award. So um, some of the themes are um, positivity. Now, our author, as we've said before, uh, did take uh, the wrong path when he was young, got involved with gangs, drugs, spent time in prison for crime, turns himself around, 
uh, goes on a lecture circuit around the world encouraging youth to uh, stay away from those negative uh, factors. So um, in the story, I think uh, Felix is uh, challenged to uh, join a gang. Uh, they're going to rough him up if he decides uh, he doesn't want to be part of the gang, but he shows him some of his boxing moves and they say, well, no, this isn't going to go easy, so forget it. So Felix avoids the, uh, the gangs. Uh, another uh, theme may be uh, purity of sports or good sportsmanship. Uh, the story suggests that the sportsmanlike behavior of the boys have learned while training to be boxers has helped them to become remarkable. They fight each other not out of hatred or even the desire to win, but rather for the love of competition. At the end of the fight, the boys are triumphant and happy for each, no matter who wins, because they have tried their best and survived. So again, uh, this is uh, Perry Thomas. Uh, he is actually uh, extending part of his own self and personality uh, into the story and uh, creating a positive uh, alternative for uh, young boys in um, poverty-stricken neighborhoods. Uh, to make uh, better choices. So that's our little story on Amigo Brothers.